God is saying that about the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. Jeremiah 17 to 7, 8. Type yes to receive. God is saying to you today, I have heard your prayers. I can feel your pain. I know that you may not understand everything, but trust in me, I won't let you down. Know that I am with you wherever you go. Thank you, Lord. Type yes to receive. I can't brag about my love for God because I fail him daily, but I can brag about God's love for me because it never fails. Stop worrying. If it's God's will, it will happen and nothing can stop it. If it's not, then know that God has a better plan. Have faith and peace in that. He will give you joy when you feel discouraged. He will make a way when it looks impossible. Understand the power given to you in the word of God. It's game over for the enemy, and he can no longer use your life as a playground for his antics. God is love, and all who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. 1 John 4.16 no matter what you are facing, remember Deuteronomy 20 to 4, for the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. Type yes, if you believe. Here are three things God wants you to know this Monday. God is going to open doors, block distractions, renew your mind, and give you back your peace. God already has a plan to pull you out of the place you're in. Don't you dare quit before your miracle. Those who trust the Lord will find new strength. Always pray and never give up. God is with you. God will bless you in unexpected ways this week. Expect unstoppable blessings. When the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Move the wrong people out of the way. Guide me with your love and give me your joy. In Jesus' name, Amen. David didn't submit a resume, but God told Samuel about him. May God mention you to someone who will take you to your next level. It is coming. God will not fail you. You're being prepared for something grand. That's why your soul has been put through one test after another. Raise your head to the sky and thank the universe for the blessings that are coming. Your time in the dark is ending. A new chapter filled with light, Love and abundance is about to begin. Type yes if you agree. Repeat after me. Find someone who calms your nervous system. Someone who gives you that I feel safe with you energy and has your back no matter what. Find someone who is patient, your best friend. God's got you. This week is going to be filled with good news, answered prayers, breakthroughs, miracles, and favor. God is saying to you today, change is coming. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Dear Heavenly Father, as we begin this day, we pray this prayer with me. Dear God, thank you for being with us through all of life's challenges and difficulties. We acknowledge that the journey may not be easy but we are grateful that you never leave our side. We ask for your strength and guidance as we navigate the ups and downs of life. Give us the courage to face each day, knowing that you are with us. Help us not to fear, but to trust in your plans and provisions. We surrender our worries and concerns to you, knowing that you are in control. Thank you for your love and faithfulness. In Jesus' name, Amen. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Philippians 4-6 Trust in God's love and faithfulness, for He is with you always. Type yes if you believe in God.